Good day, fellow learners. This is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, joining you for another teaching and learning session for our pointers for the next generation and clicks. So this is our session number 17. Wow, there's a lot of our of these sessions already in our YouTube channel. So please don't forget also to scroll down in our YouTube channel because all of those quick fix videos that I uploaded in the past are still relevant for your next generation NCLEX RN. So join our thousands and hundreds of thousands of nurses worldwide who pass to the Ray Gapo system. So give us a text or a call at 0906-201-9383 or send me a message at our email address, info at ragaposreview.com. So let's begin with an inspirational message for our recent pastor. Now let me share with you a testimonial coming from a nurse who passed the next generation NCLEX for the State Board of New York last July 13, 2023. And she is a graduate of the Capital Medical Center Colleges. We have Ms. Jemilin Kakao Kasili, USRN. And this is her story. I graduated 2007, so medyo kalawang na talaga pagdating sa concept. Then, when I took my first NCLEX exam last January 4, I failed and felt defeated. Sabi ko, bakit ganun? Ginawa ko naman ang lahat. Inaral ko, bakit ako nagpalamon sa kaba? Then I, may say, I message survey. Sinabi ko, hindi ako successful sa first try. Sabi niya, okay lang yan. Review pa rin, huwag titigil. So pag nagpahinga ako ng ilang months, then when I decided to take ulit ng July 13, 2023, dami naman bumps sa pag-aaral ko. Nandyan yung nagko-community house to house kami for measles, rubiola, oral polyvaccine, supplemental immunization activity. So medyo toxic. Pero inalala ko, sabi ni Sir Ray, na believe. So what I did was habang naglalakad ako, nakikinig ako sa pecha kutsa ni Sir Ray and during gawaan ng monthly report, nakikinig ako sa mga quick fix niya which is very helpful for retention, multitasking na. And every time na may tanong ako, andyan ang mga mentors natin, lalo na si Sir Francis, sinasagot mga tanong ko. Si Miss Joanne, sobrang thankful ako kasi never siyang nakulitan sa akin and helped me na makasit in sa February batch and sa June, three days quick fix. So fast forward nung exam date ko na, July 13, maaga ako dumating, 4 p.m. nag-start ako, natapos ako ng 8 p.m. Habang sumasagat ako, nakangiti ako, naalala ko mga lectures ng mga mentors, lalo na boses ni Sir Ray sa ECG, kaya nung nag-shutdown ng 85 sa exam ko, nagulat ako with a smile. Wow, nagulat with a smile. Sabi ko, si Lord na bahala, nagawa ko na lahat, and ito na nga po, Jemilin Kasile, USRN na nga po ako. Ray A. Gapos Review System really helps me and hindi nila ako iniwan. So ito yung review center na pag nadapa ka, tutulungan ka nilang bumangon. Kaya laban lang mga kuners. Yun din ang gawin mo. So the first question that you need to ask yourself is what do I need to study for the test? But that should be answered by an expert who knows the ins and the outs of the test not just by some false and flex are in profits, okay? So let's begin. Glaucoma, now pay particular attention to the fact that in glaucoma, there is increased intraocular pressure. Usually the treatment would involve administration of drugs like pilocarpine that constricts the pupil so it allows outflow of the excess KSU more. There are also drugs that are considered as contraindicated. And these are the drugs that could cause pupillary dilatation. The most common ones is actually your atropine sulfate, okay? So if atropine sulfate is prescribed for a, for a patient with glaucoma, we need to question the physician's order or clarify the physician's order. And if the patient will undergo eye examination and there's Atropine eye drops, ophthalmic eye drops that is ordered by the physician, make sure that you need to check that the patient is not suffering from low coma because your atropine will further increase the intraocular pressure as it causes pupillary dilatation. Okay? 
Remember, atropine is contraindicated in a client with glaucoma. Next, discharge priorities. Now, during a disaster in which additional beds will be needed, so you need to discharge patients so that you can accommodate the increasing number of clients who are injured because of, say, for example, an earthquake, a fire, or there's a calamity that has increased the uh, number of persons who are injured in a specific area. So to make way for a vacant bed during major disasters, consider discharging the following patients. Those who delivered 24 hours ago by normal spontaneous delivery, those who are due for discharge within the day. So if they are due for discharge in the afternoon, you can discharge them in the morning. And those who are done with the diagnostic test and they are not bedridden. So they are done, like for example, if undergone of the sound, those patients are not bedridden. But patients who have undergone lumbar puncture, they need to be on bed and they should lie flat for six to eight hours to prevent spinal headache. You cannot discharge them right away. So those who are still having diagnostic tests and they are having a diagnostic workup for a specific um, disease condition that the doctor is ruling out, if they are done with the diagnostic test, then you can discharge them too, okay? Next one would be your celiac disease. Now, in celiac disease, there's a potential development of intestinal villus atrophy. So, instruct the client to avoid barley, rye, and wheat. Oats can already be given. And pretty kale, which is a hybrid of your uh, rye and wheat, should also not be given to a patient with celiac disease. The patient with celiac disease may also need to inform their priest if they're already having communions, that they have celiac disease, so they can be served um, your wafers, communion wafers that do not contain either your barley, rye, or your wheat. And then cosmetics should also be checked for the potential content that could be associated with either a barley, rye, and wheat, especially those who are fond of using lipsticks. Now, corn, cassava, and coconut are considered gluten-free for as long as they are raw. Okay, pasta, pretzels, pizza, pastries are not gluten-free. So anything that is baked, that's commercially prepared, these are usually not considered gluten-free. Cakes, cereals, cookies, and crackers are not gluten-free, especially your canned cereals. These are commercially prepared, and some additives are actually given uh, in, in mixed with these um, products. Now, for patients who are asking you if potatoes are considered gluten-free, those that are raw are considered gluten-free, but baked potatoes are not. So you have to be very, very specific in your, with your instructions. And of course, the second thing that I'd like to remind everyone is you have to know how to study using technology. Now, the next generation NCLEX now would ask you to navigate through the different types of questions such as bow tie, case studies, matrix. And if you are not adept with using technology, then there's nothing. So your test preparation should, should be something that would include the use of technology. Here at Ray Gapo System, we utilize technology that are unique to our system and even our Teaching and learning tools are published by international publishing companies. So the latest technological tools that we have is your, is your Ray Gapus for Shells. Now take note, it covers all the subject areas in the NCLEX RN, and you have a choice to either watch a video, take short quizzes, long exams, or just focus on the next generation NCLEX items. We have the most number of NGN items in our for shell. And of course, the third requirement is be in a conducive environment. This is our NCLEX Next Generation Simulation Room at the Ray Tapos Building here in Union Avenue in Manila. And this is our very intimate class, very comfortable when we conduct face-to-face -face classes. So may I invite you to avail of our Next Generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test preparation class for the NCLEX RN that includes live face-to-face -face classes or virtual classes for on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, Cuba, three books, and of course, the next generation sample questions strategies with me, 
plus my quick fix session. So the fee starts at 3,499. Give us a call at 0906 2019 So you can choose either weekday classes in the morning or weekday classes in the afternoon or just exclusively weekend classes either morning or afternoon. So this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapu saying, I'll see you in my next video. Take note, a functional concept a day keeps your NCLEX R and fears away. See you in my next video.